Welcome back to Wood Gas Stove Science, part three of paint can stove optimization. This is the final result uh, from part two that you're watching right now on the screen. Uh, this is a very quick update on what I did this week. By using some of the knowledge I've gained throughout this series and comments and suggestions from you, the subscribers and watchers from YouTube, I decided to make a few major additions to this stove. The first is the ability to change the burn from high to low intensity. I accomplished that by building a damper for the fresh air intake. I also built a frame flame concentrator uh, that will guide the jets of the secondary air to the middle and help seal the paralysis zone. The last item that I made was a pot stand or chimney to help pull the air through the stove using the draft effect. Like I said, this is a quick update on what I've done, so I'm not going to show you how I actually built any of these things, uh, but basically um, I will show you in a few uh, later episodes of this series. Here you can see that I'm starting the stove um, and I've used the damper at 100% open uh, and let the stove uh, start working. In about five to six minutes uh, the fire was going very nice and the jets were very obvious uh, and I put on the pot stand. The pot stand immediately um, helped stabilize the flame and uh, made the jets actually appear stronger. Uh, and that worked out very well. Uh, then I was able to put on the uh, flame concentrator. Now the flame concentrator uh, did just what it was supposed to do. It guided those flames and kept them uh, very consistent even though the wind was blowing. Um, so here you can see that I've choked the flame down to half, half uh, choke and the flame height had reduced. Uh, and here I opened the flame uh, back up to full, full and you can see that the flame was considerably uh, hotter and higher uh, and much more powerful. Uh, so I decided to do a, a, a uh, boil test. The boil test um, was slower than I was anticipating. Uh, it took about eight minutes for it to really start to boil. Uh, but here you can see after it really started to boil, I decided that I would choke it back and see if I could uh, slow it down to a simmer. And it did work. It was a, I was able to slow it down with a simmer by closing off the damper. Uh, and even after I was able to close it down and slow the simmer down, I was able to go back and open that choke back up, open the damper up, and um, it was able to return to a full boil pretty quickly. Um, overall, I was very happy with the uh, changes that we uh, did um, to the stove and thank you very much for those suggestions and comments. Um, they helped a lot. Uh, I still have a few things that I'd like to do to this stove, but we're starting to move towards a very, very usable uh, camp stove. Um, as I said earlier, thank you so much for all of my subscribers and all the comments that everybody has made. Uh, and please join me uh, very soon for the next episode in Wood Gas Stove Science. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.